Kale Water Sports here with Amir King Kong uh, here at uh, this restaurant, man, doing a little meet and greet. T tell us about uh, tell us about the opening of this place, right? Here. Yeah, so basically, um, I I came to a play. I, I, my boys own this place. It's called Dubai Sauce. Mm -hmm. It's on Hollywood Boulevard, and they they are, they, they know I'm a big uh, big fan of food, and they said come and check it out. You know, the food is amazing, man. I just had. Uh, the, the 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 food here, which is healthy as well. You know, you got you go to a lot of uh, fast food places and it, it's unhealthy. But one thing about this place is it's healthy and it's good for you. You know, I I just had a hard gym session today. I was at, I was at the Ten Gusen gym and um, I came here and I, I need some protein, so I got some nice chicken and some meat and some rice and <laughs> stuff like that. The food's amazing here. Yeah. Uh, you just said you were at Ten Goose. I want to ask you. Um, Ricky Funes and uh, Brandon Rios, man, got a big fight. Uh, Victor Ortiz, how do you see that playing out? You know what, I like uh, Ricky. I think he's a great trainer. Um, and, and he's one of the guys who puts a lot of time and effort into boxing. Uh, with the gym, you know, very, being very successful. Uh, then you've got uh, Brandon. Brandon, since he's been with Ricky, he's, he's doing really well. Um, you see the weight come off him. You see how dedicated he, uh, de dedicated he is. Uh, he's very disciplined as well. And I just think that it's gonna, you know, he's gonna give a, a big shock to Victor Ortiz. I think he's gonna beat Victor Ortiz and beat him in style, in a style that people think, you know, uh, Brandon's a guy who normally comes in there a little bit overweight and not in shape. But I think this time you'll see like a new Brandon. I think he'll put a, a good whoop whooping on uh, Victor. But I like Victor as well. Victor's always been respectful to me. I like Victor, uh, but if I had to pick one, I'd pick uh, Brandon to win that fight. But I wish them both all the best. No, Brandon definitely looks in shape. He's been in the gym forever. Yeah, man. Um, Want to ask you, man, get into uh, your last fight against Canelo. Uh, she was going really well. It was You, you were outboxing him really well. I, I had you ahead on the scorecards. Was that fight playing out the way you thought it was prior to the finish? Um, yeah, it was, yeah. You know, obviously, I knew that Canelo was going to try looking for that one big shot. And I was hitting him and moving and stuff. And... Um, but then, you know, he, it was just that when I, when I, whenever I was hitting him, you know, I could see that he wasn't being affected by it and he wasn't, he wasn't, being, he wasn't hurt by it or anything. So, you know, um, but I just kept doing my thing. And then obviously he saw the opening and caught me with the overhand right hand. I mean, look, people can say what they want. Amir can't take a punch or Amir uh, ain't got a good chin. I mean, whoever, if he hit anyone with that big shot, bro, he would knock anyone out, honestly, regardless my way or weight above or weight above that. He would have knocked anyone out because that shot was a big dev and, a, and a very dangerous shot. He hit me, obviously, he knocked me out. Um, but, you know, what I take from that fight is having the balls to go into a big fight. Exactly. And also, other fighters should take a leaf out of my book and, you know, uh, hopefully um, you do what I do. Uh, I think it's time Canelo now faces someone like Triple G. And I really think he might beat Triple G. Because now I've been in the ring with him, I've kind of seen what he does. He's not, a lot of people think he's just a powerful guy, he's a plodder, but he's not, he's a very good boxer as well. When I was in the ring, and I'm a quick, I mean, I'm probably one of the best boxers out there when I, when I come down to, when it comes to boxing, I outbox people, but I'd say Canelo was very good at boxing as well. So, how, how does that play? You, you see him outboxing uh, Triple G? Outboxing and, and, and maybe hurting him as well with maybe them shots he has. He has them one big punch, he has them single punch, ex, ex, he has them single punch. Power, power in them single punches. Yeah, he's very explosive as well. He throws them single punches fast as well, you know, with power. I mean, the shot he hit me with, I mean, that was a quick shot but with a lot of power, all his body behind it and everything. So, you know, you have to give him credit, man, where he's due. Um, look, uh, obviously, before the fight, uh, I probably didn't like him. But <laughs> obviously, and I probably still don't like him, but I, I, you got to respect a fighter. And look, he beat me fair and square. I put my hand up. And it wasn't my weight. I shouldn't have been up there, but I went to test myself. If I, didn't, if I didn't take that fight, I would have always thought what would have happened if I went up a weight and fought, you know. So I've done it now and it didn't work for me. Well, you dare to be great and, and boxing fans appreciate that. Uh, and you're doing it again, man. Um, you know, we're hearing a lot of rumors about Kel Brook. Uh, you guys have been trash talking back and forth a little bit. Uh, t yeah. t t tell us what the latest with that is. I'm 30 years old, man, and I'm at, I'm at the peak of my career, prime of my career, where I won the biggest fights in boxing. Uh, Kel Brook talking a lot of trash. Um, so yeah, you know, that's the fight that could happen. Now, I, you know, I respect all fighters, but I don't respect a fighter who gives up his IBF title. I mean, I heard rumors that he might have to give it, he, well, he might give his IBF title up. Now, that's quite bad. I think that's quite sad. You work so hard to be a world champion, and then because you don't want to fight your mandatory, you give up the title, you give it away. For, 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 just give it away without fighting, say, I don't want to fight you, so take, take my title, have it. 
I think that's a bitch move, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look, if the fight between me and Kelbrook happens in 2017, I'm ready, man. Let's have the fight. I want to settle, settle the score in the UK and put it straight and put him in his place. Um, and it just shows what type of character he is. If he is giving up that title and giving that title away for nothing and not finding his mandatory, then, I mean, he doesn't deserve to be in boxing. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean... That's what pussies do, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I was going to say, do you, do you feel that he's just avoiding Spence and that's why he's doing that? Yeah, man, I mean, look, look at the end of the day, he's just, uh, just been a pussy, man. He don't want to fight. He's been soft. He don't want to fight. Um, he's mandatory and he just don't want to... Um, he's just afraid. That's all I, all I want to say. Look, um, I might not like the guy, but, you know, he, I, he showed a lot of balls when he went in the ring with uh, Triple G. And, I, and I'm not taking... I'm not giving him credit for that. But then... Knowing that he probably knew that he's gonna get beat by Triple G, by and but what he had was, oh, I'm gonna go up away. It's not my natural way. He can get away with it. Fine, he got away with it, yeah. But now he's fighting someone at his own way who he thinks he's gonna get beat by, and he don't want to fight him, and he's avoiding him, and you know, and giving his title up. I mean, I come on, man, you can't respect a guy like that, man. Look at me. I could have done the same thing when when they put uh, Garcia in front of me, when they put um, um, uh, Maidana. Uh, Judah, I mean, these are all my mandatories, Peterson, and I still fought my mandatories, regardless win or loss, I still fought my mandatories, so, you know, I still, if you want to be a great champion, be known as a great fighter, you have to fight your mandatories and beat them and also defend your title and keep hold of it, not give it away.